Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Sagittarius, I welcome you to the general reading of the month of May. General readings, you now loves, might resonate highly, might be one message or two. Sometimes might even feel like a personal reading, sometimes might not really make sense. Take loves what mostly connects with you, leave what doesn't. Know that. And Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus sometimes might be very, very strongly connected with your Sun sign or your Moon or your Venus. So be mindful. Sagis, I want to make... Um, a little remark or or think here about the most important events astrological speaking for this month as month of may is very challenging it's a number five month and speak of the fives changes are coming First thing first, starting with the new moon in Taurus on the 30th of April, going the 1st of May, which, you know, Taurus is all about stability. I need stability. I need to be grounded. I need to be feel comfortable. And also, it's a good time to reflect on your finances, work, business, hobbies, and so on. And also, the first retrograde starts on may 10th mercury retrograde in the house and will go all the way to june it's a good time to review certain things to reflect on others and might not be a best time to start new projects or new things out there for you but to restore and rework on certain others it's probably the best if you're planning to make a big purchase or something like that you might look a couple times or make great plans so you might not have a failure or anything like that for those of you who do sign any contracts this month make sure you read the scripts couple times to not miss any things okay and take it easy as well we do have a full moon in scorpio on the 15th scorpio is all about changes transformation for some of you there's certain things might come upside down to you might come not really how you expected so be prepared for that some things here which were hidden coming up and woof you know could you know turn your yourself upside down and not last but not least or to say that we do have an eclipse on the 16th the eclipse is either it's a moon either it's a solar eclipse brings a lot of karmic downloads and for some of you might feel like well i have this deja vu i feel this i've gone through this or there's certain things here you can't explain take it easy loves as well for some of you, you may have certain weird dreams or certain experiences that you feel like wow again take it one day at a time so yeah sages buckle up as i've been warned or to say to other zodiac signs for you as well buckle up take care of you and take it easy let's see what do we got for you on a general energy for this coming month and what else is there and yes i do record this reading in april so usually the readings i do record they could be in that timeline or could be longer or on a major broad energy so let's see whatever in the world you are if you are always here i thank you for coming in again if you are just coming across welcome let's see sagittarius sun moon rising signs and venus eight of pentacles a lot of working a lot of busy times busy 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 like busy bees busy times working studying putting effort into the things Yes, this month of May finds you working, finds you busy, productive. And speaks here that the universe is there with you. It's your major arcana. I'm happy to hear that. The universe is having your back and is telling you it's time for you to put in effort. Certain things here 
and be confident whatever you work on my calm beautiful baby so here you are for some of you if you put effort into become more independent more self-sufficient it's kind of like taking care of you more there might come something new and for some of you could be even love coming in so the universe is blessing you this month if you put a lot of effort into a situation expect great results okay and money wise it seems here that it's increasing, but it's not increasing because you win a lottery or somebody give it to you. Hey, Sag, it's because you're awesome. I will give you this. No, I feel here you, my loves, put in effort. You worked quite hard for what it is. And you know, the universe love those brothers and sisters for that. So yeah, blessings are here. Let's see what's going on here. Knight of Cups right here justice four of cups two of swords hangman six of swords three of pentacles king of pentacles and three of cups all right loves a little confusion but I feel here you are working through that. I feel here the universe gives you insights. So for some of you, that was a situation here that you postponed or you felt a little stuck in it. That's moving forward. You loves have somebody new. Could be a Libra, could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming forward. Whatsoever, you might not really be into that person. And when I say the zodiac signs... Keep in mind, they could be sun sign, Libra or water sign. They could have this science or they could act like this science. Somebody who is acting like a Libra, it means I want a stable relationship. I'm looking for stability. Someone who like, looks like a water sign or acts like a water sign, that person is very loving, very caring, very much looking for your needs as well. What you're looking for, that's looking in return. Keep in mind that. And as well, I feel here there is someone here who might want to come back to you. And that could be an earth sign. You could have a work relationship with them. But I feel here it's more a friendship or a meeting with that person. If you are confused in regard to something, I feel here by the end of the month, you will move forward. For some of you, yes, you separated for from yourself or you separated from someone. That person might come might come around to you the the who said i'm speaking you might be single or you might be very independent on your own it's not like hey i'm looking for someone out there just because you know to not be single it's not like that because i see you here sag you if you had a hard time to move on from something or you felt like you know hanging in there this month there is movement as well you have a lot of help in this move okay and whoever comes as i say you might not really like that person or you might not feel into that it's not that they are a bad person or not it's more likely you might look for something else or you might be focusing on something else i hope that makes sense Let's see here some clarifications here and what we have for other Sages. Something here till now felt nothing moves. And now I feel here there's a lot of meetings that a lot of going out, there's a lot of traveling, a lot of movement that's coming up for you. And for some Sages, you actually might meet a lot of great people work-wise or building connection which will help you for the future or into your future 
So yeah, let's see here, some clarifications here for you, my loves. The Four of Cups clarifier, it's Nine of Swords, Two of Swords clarifier, Six of Cups, and Six of Swords clarifying by Queen of Cups, the Hangman, Ten of Cups. Don't procrastinate anymore your, your happiness, loves, because I feel here you put your, your happiness on hold. But whoever comes in for you, they are here to offer you whatever you really ever expected. Probably you expected the love and compassion from someone. But I feel here it's a whole different person here. The Three of Cups, Two of Pentacles. If someone here comes around you again, they will steal in the Two of Pentacles. So be careful who you want to keep around you and who you do not. For those of you who do still between two people, be very mindful who you are letting go and who you are going to keep. Because I feel here you don't want to mess it up or you are kind of like, I'm not quite sure what's the best decision, but it's your choice. Absolutely. Queen of Swords. Speak up, loves, what your heart and your mind wants to get there, okay? Let's see here. Why is this Four of Cups and Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands, Hermit? So you are... Yes, you might be very busy and you might thinking, do I need this on my head or this person who comes in? So whoever comes in and it's new love, they are here to make you happy. The thing is, do you have time for that? Spirit says, yes, you do. Is the divine timing helping you to do that? Because as I said, you are quite busy, Sagis. Let's see, the Knight of Cups, Page of Swords, the King of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. One more card for the Knight of Cups, Strength, the Knight of the King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands, Ace of Wands. So now you're making your own decisions, loves. Whomever here comes back to you, they might sweep very quick with their words or whatever they're going to say. The other person is very much into, I got this, I got you. I was looking for someone to fulfill my life as I will fulfill them. Whoever is a new person, they could keep an eye on you for quite a while. They may not be very great with their words, but I do see them way more mature than you might see them or recognize. On the contrary, the other person, if someone here comes in from your past, they will still do or they will still want to do the same old, same old. And you loves are the one to accept or reject. Absolutely. You are not quite sure neither way with this four of pentacles, ten of swords, and the five of cups. There's something here puts you like I don't want to be hurt again. So I don't, that's why I feel here, whoever, Sag, I'm speaking, you, you, are, you are not really focused on love. Based on the events, whatever happened to the past or in the past. And that's why you're just feeling like, ah, I don't know. Like, I, I'm great the way I am and kind of a thing. Like, my heart tells me, move forward. Yes, love will come when it's time. So I feel here the love is coming at this time. But who, 
whoever it's new seems very very lovely okay let's see that's what I say you attract naturally people into your life let's see here one advice for you Sagittarius what's best for you or what actions you gotta take Whatever here is in the past here, I feel here with this two of swords, you are not allowing anymore. But whatsoever, I feel here, there's still a little seed over there that you you need to recognize or review and see if you want it or you don't. And let's see. Advice for the Sages. Sun. Rebirth. The new energy very much looks awesome. Nine of Cups. Knight of Wands. And Ace of Pentacles. That couldn't be better or best advice for you if you want some something new or someone new very quick will escalate that energy and very quick will escalate in something stable grounded and committed as well for some sages be very very careful who especially ladies who you let into your bed because there might be a pregnancy out there Okay, so if you really want commitment or whomever you might have very, very quick whatsoever. So be very careful. Looks a great month for Sagis. Strongly financially and with the new energies. For those of you who have some some things here or someone from your past be careful Mercury retrograde might bring those and whomever is this one remember remember they may not change their ways they could have this person could be an earth sign or they could have air in their chart moon sign air and some somehow like that but if you put your happiness on hold it's better to unleash that. There's a lot of beautiful energy coming in for you. And sometimes, you know, new experiences, new energy looks beautiful. So advice is very strongly renew your passion. Go with what you truly want. And know that the universe has your back as always. Young energy, take action. Only you can make things happen because might be a lot of there to take action towards you. But if you don't, nobody. And poised. Get ready, loves. Treasure Island and why? And never ending story. So be very careful here. As well, there is a, a thing here with someone from the past. But Treasure Island very much speaks that whatever you did manifest, it's coming. Take action, loves, and it feels quite good. And poised is your manifestations, your good energy you ask from the universe is there. And will bless you beautifully. The poised energy here speaks about regeneration or be ready. There's something here coming in. Be confident. So look at here, the regeneration card. This is more like a tower moment for you. So there's certain things here are coming to you. Probably you don't expect. But also for, for those of you who, who did really manifest the connection, or you you use the law of attraction your dreams or the things you put over there they come into fruition okay and sometimes you know abundance comes from those places you never expected 
Sagis, I thank you for coming and I hope this connects with you in a way or another. If it does, let me know down below. And of course, if you didn't subscribe yet, please do for more content as this month I will dedicate myself way much more for the channel. See ya loves. Namaste.